maritime archaeology is a, it's a niche discipline, isn't it? it? It isn't something that everybody gets to do, but it is important because the planet is covered in water and a lot of human heritage can be found in underwater environments. So as archaeologists, we have to engage with you know, that, that relationship between human beings uh, and aquatic bodies, uh, especially the ocean. Flinders Maritime Archaeology is, is globally elite. It's the premier program in Australasia and amongst the best programs in the entire world. We do a full range of maritime archaeology uh, education and research activity here uh, based in Adelaide, but we work and study all over the world. Flinders University is now part of the American Academy of Underwater Science. So the AAUS is the largest scientific diving um, organization over in the US. We can allow our students to train also under the AAUS standards and we can produce our students to have the AAUS qualification as well at the end. So this allows students not just to be able to work in Australia, but allows them to give them the opportunity to go overseas and then be part of the other research project around the world. FUMAP is special because we're one of the top programs in the world and what I personally have really enjoyed about our program and what I think makes it special is that for the last 20 years it has been very focused on creating workforce ready students and we have I think an excellent balance between theory and practice so students don't only get the background in maritime archaeology, but they also get the practical experience throughout the degree. The students who come to study at FUMA, they have a really wide range of opportunities to um, develop their career and to uh, build their skill sets. And uh, one of our initiatives that we've always been very proud of here is our field schools, which happen um, sometimes multiple times a year. Uh, and that involves hands-on diving and all of the aspects of a normal maritime archaeology project. Uh, and students are encouraged to produce a professional report at the end of that that really showcases all of the skills they've gotten. What I learned at Flinders is how to be a more professional maritime archaeologist and learning on top of that the wide expanse and like range that we have here, especially through maritime archaeology, it's not just shipwrecks, there's underwater sites, sort of structural anomalies, whole entire landscapes that no one's ever done and it's and then the Flinders itself, where you get to learn more about how to be cohesive and work in a team and how we can structure our plans around each other. And it's a really great environment for learning. You're never not learning. We have now established our own micro-credential in professional scientific diver course. And this allows our students to learn scuba diving while they're taking the university's degree. The one thing that our graduates were missing in the past, they came out of a master's degree in maritime archaeology and then they still had to get the right diving qualifications to be marketable and to be really quickly hireable by the industry and with this micro-credential they can tick that box and so it's been beneficial and they get jobs quicker. We've spent the last 10 years setting up a world-class program and we've done it in a way that I think is sustainable. So we have the equipment, the personnel, the support, the structure and the funding to have at least two more decades of world-class maritime archaeology being based here out of Adelaide at Flinders University. There's a huge opportunity here to really uh, take the research to a much higher level uh, and to explore not lots of new exciting areas that um, we can now do because of all this um, capacity that we have. It's like it's just all pretty, pretty amazing to be here. So I'm just coming out of my masters now and I've got myself a job with Cosmos Archaeology and that could only be gained if I came to Flinders and I met the people and if Wendy, uh, who's my thesis supervisor, would allow me to do that. If she never met me, I'd never have this really, really good job and this really good opportunity. So Flinders, if anything, is always striving to continuously, continuously help the next generation through and just continuously bring quality instead of quantity.